Seal it in a box. You need to get the biggest tub you can find so it gives you enough space to work in, right? Um, this is a Sterilite brand from Walmart. It's pretty good. And it is like one of those waterproof ones. Um, it's not because I wanted it to be waterproof. It's because they're stronger. If you get one that is too flimsy, when you put this upside down, this, anything you do goes bloop, 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 and it'll literally make your stuff jump. Last thing you want is for an agar cup to jump up and land, you know, stuff like that. So this one is strong, and these latches don't really matter because you don't need a, a waterproof seal around here at all. So just get a good quality one. This tape here is because you should get one of these LED grow lights and you can control the brightness. I always set it to the brightest. Tape it there just so it doesn't wobble around and run around. Like right now, like it's doing right now. There. And this gives you very nice light inside. Look at the difference inside between this and that. Big difference. I just came up with the LED out of the blue. I was like, I don't get enough light in here. And uh, I said, oh, I got, I got a grow light. And I set it there. So that's important. Now, this is stupid easy to make. It's not expensive. Um, it is one of the tubs that you should buy the best quality you can get. Another good thing about this one is it has this edge around here. So things, I, I put a lot of stuff up here like my flashlight and stuff, it's not going to roll off of it. Um, so to make it, all you need is two holes. Four inch holes. And I believe this is a good size. If you see my hand, um, I got a good nice space. Another important thing with the size is need to be able to fit your jars through here so what I did was I just traced it with a sharpie and then cut it out the best way I have found to cut it out is with um, the soldering iron the one I have on my tools list has a chisel has several tips one of them is a chisel tip you can use that it doesn't have to be perfect, it doesn't have to be pretty, but if you, the, the round saws are expensive, you, can, you need to do it backwards if you use one of those. But they make a mess and, and they can crack your, your, the plastic. Um, so that's, that's how easy it is to make one of these. Now let's talk about how you set up. First thing I do is, of course, wear my gloves. Another thing, simple thing about gloves is these silicone gloves are the best. Um, the blue nitrite ones tend to be sticky. Uh, to put them on and take them off, they stick. They, they, I don't like them. These are really good. Um, of course, I wear a mask because when you breathe and you talk, you don't want to breathe. It, with, with this, your breath is probably just going to hit this, but you can never be too safe, so I do that. You need some paper towels. Now, 
First thing you need to do is spray everything down. Here's what I do. First I spray this quite a bit. Clean that off first. Then I spray it again and I leave that there because it's going to be out in the open while I'm messing with the other part. Then I spray everything quite a bit with 70% alcohol. We use 70% because 90% evaporates too quickly and it doesn't give it enough time to kill the, the nasties. All right, so spray in there, wipe everything down. I've got the camera in the way, so I'm not gonna do a good job, but wipe everything down. After everything is wiped down very thoroughly, then you spray it again everywhere and leave it. Don't wipe it down. Then you put it back. Oh. Before anything, I sprayed the whole table, the whole table down, wiped it down very nicely, thoroughly, wipe it down thoroughly, before you wipe this, before you do anything. Now, after this is all set up, what I do is, I like to set my tools in there. So first thing I do is fold this in three, spray the bottom, spray the top, put it in there on the side where I like it. Then I spray inside again just to get a cloud of alcohol in there right we have that and then I take my tools take them all in my hand spray them down with alcohol and wipe them down one at a time and put them in here Take this metal thing or another exacto or something. I set them off, set them, and I set them up so they are lifted. They're not touching the uh, paper towel. Don't use toilet paper because toilet paper uh, leaves little bits of pieces of paper around. All right, so then you can spray in there again. And we're pretty much ready to go. Of course, um, we're gonna use, oh, I always set my lighter up here. I always have a backup lighter. If you don't have an extra lighter, you, you, could ha you may have to stop working. All right, so I always leave this here, leave my uh, bottle of alcohol either on top or here, because I'm gonna be sitting down in front of it. Uh, another point, the clearer the plastic, the better. This one is not the clearest. There are some that are almost like glass, which are better, but um, I haven't found them locally. Uh, don't look for them on a Amazon. They're like 30, 40, 50, 60 dollars, these things. I don't understand why. Go to a local store like Target or Walmart, Walmart or wherever, whatever is local to you and try to find them. All right, um, one very important uh, warning. We've been spraying alcohol in here. So if I try to do sterilize this in here if you still if the alcohol hasn't all uh, fallen to the to the surface or or evaporated and I light this up this can literally explode don't ask me how I know this uh, it's happened to a lot of people it can be a violent explosion it's it's really dangerous um I, I shit you not it's very dangerous so um, you can always do it outside, in front, 
away from the holes, just in case there's vapor coming out, away from the holes, up top here, to the side, anywhere. Um, one thing I like to do is I like to, so I'm not taking my hands out and in so much and also keeping the lighter outside. I do this. So what I do is I take my hand around and I light it out here. Um, that way I figure I'm not doing everything out and taking my hands back in. It, it may not really do anything. It may all be just me feeling better about myself by doing that. Every time you use it, you need to uh, flame sterilize it. You need to get alcohol on your hands. Um, this way, I spray my shirt, even my face. I close my eyes, spray my face, uh, wear clean clothes, uh, preferably uh, uh, clothes you just washed, wear your mask. And, uh, and another thing, if, if I just try and do this, it's stuck here because my holes aren't that big, so I have to use both hands, right? So if I'm going to take it out. So you set up everything in there. If, if you have like agar cups and stuff, you, you set them there. Um, if you're pouring agar, you have to lay everything, pour it in here, which is why I like my method that they come out of the... The agar cups come out of the pressure cooker instant pot done so I don't have to pour them in here they, that's already done I've never had to buy a, a laminar air flow hood um, if you have the space for it and the money to buy it or you make one yourself um, it's fine. I have never needed one. I've never had problems with using a steel air box. I don't have to do so much stuff day in and day out that it would warrant spending the money on a, a flow hood. Um, this works perfect. Um, I've done all my agar transfers, all my inoculations, all my stuff in here. Um, I have not needed anything anything else. Still air box um, is, is the first piece of, of uh, equipment you need. It's, it's standard kit. You have to have a still air box. Don't do stuff outside. It's just going to contaminate. Remember, the spores are everywhere and, and contaminants are everywhere and they tend to fall from the top down so that's why this works and always before you do something you spray in there see that cloud and and you don't have to get your bottle in there right I just do it through the holes and you can spray the walls as well the, the top you can spray and then I wait for it a little bit for it, for the alcohol to go down. So when I open up uh, a jar or something or, a, or a, an agar cup, it doesn't get saturated with alcohol. So I give it a couple minutes and then I start. And if you use this, cut some agar, whatever, clean it with alcohol and paper towel and fire sterilize, flame sterilize again. Um, that's it. Um, I think that's all you need to know about steel air boxes. Easy to make, cheap. Hope this helps.